Zooming here on our zebra rhino pick we're working on here, we're combining our two animals, and we are taking our white rhinoceros here. We're not really altering him at all, but we are going to alter the zebra, and we're essentially stretching the image of the zebra over top of the white rhino so that we can put that pattern of the zebra on top of here. So we look like we have a white rhino with a zebra pattern on it. So that's what we're aiming to do. So we started using the liquify tool the other day. So let's make sure we're on the right layer. And then we're gonna go up here to our filter. I'm gonna pick up that liquify tool again. And what we're gonna do is go in here and I'm gonna zoom in here and let's work on, where do we wanna work on? Let's work on the head up here. All right, I'm gonna move down in here. And what I'm gonna do first here, I think, is I'm gonna try to stretch this part here up onto his jaw here. So I'm gonna get my move tool here. I am much too large. You want it to be large because you want it to pull a good piece of it instead of a small piece but you don't want it to be so large you can't see the edge of your animal and what you are doing. So just kind of slowly moving this into position here. And what I want to do, I want to get this snout here. He has kind of a pointy snout there. I want to take some of this black here, a little smaller here, pull it up. And I don't think I'm going to put the zebra stripe up onto the snout. Go back there a little bit. Grab that whole eye and shift down. Now I'm going to get much smaller here. I want to kind of take that contour like it's following up to the base of the horn but not actually coming over top of the horn. Pushing that up there. Now this jaw right here, I have a big jawbone that's on my rhinoceros here and I want those stripes to emulate that. I'm going to go much smaller here. So I'm going to use the bloat tool here. I'm going to try and make this kind of round out here to show some of that roundness of the jaw there. Okay. I'm going to push OK. Look at what I got. I'm liking what I see right there. I've got the pink of the lip from the zebra. We'll get rid of that here a little later, but I like how I can see the nostril and it's going over the snout a little bit better so that we can see what our animal's looking like here. And we can kind of go back and forth and see what we gotta still work on. I like how my jawline's coming in there. We'll go in here and accent some of that right there. So, continuing on, we're going to work here, and what I want to do now, I've got my eyes right about there. Let's see if we can line the eye shapes up here a little bit better and work on that. So let's go back to liquify again. Filter, liquefy. Take the opacity of my background up a little bit here so I can see my guy here. And 
this is a real a little bit difficult here with the ghosting image so I just have to keep committing and going back and forth to see where I'm at here take the opacity of my animal down just a little bit more I got to get that eye down around here. So I'm going to keep working on that. And I think I'm going to take that ear and try to get it up there. Or closer at least. So going back, filter. We're going to go back to liquify. And I can see that's where my eye needs to go down here. It kind of needs to twist a little bit, and then I said I wouldn't have any idea of what I would do with this. But here I am using it right there. All right. Now, I've got a good portion of what I want going on right here in the face. So I'm going to go ahead and freeze a good bit of this with this freeze tool here so that I don't mess that anything up here while I work on this jaw right up here, trying to get this ear moved up here. So we're going to essentially go up here. We're going to grab this. It's going to get kind of big again. And we're going to grab here start pulling this guy up into this area here And it's just a lot of pushing and pulling and pulling things around to get where you want. Going bigger, going smaller. To where I like it. Okay. So I'm going to push OK again. Zoom out, see how I'm looking. I like how that's going so far. So I'm going to keep working on this. So I get this all in here. I'm going to work on these two legs over here. And the area on the bottom here, I think I'm just going to take that and lop that off. So let's do that right now. So we're coming up on 10 minutes here. I like to keep these fairly short here. So I'm going to make just a quick rectangle selection on that. And I'm going to delete that part down here. I'm gonna hold off on the back feet. I'm gonna take a little less here. I think I might use some of that coming up in there. Go ahead and get those done so we can pull some of that up there. Command D. Alright, so let's work on this one leg here and then we will quit for the day here and we'll pick this back up. So again, I'm gonna be right here and going back and forth what I need to do. My leg needs to narrow here to show over top of this leg here. So I need to push that all in there. So let's go back into our filter, go to liquify. We're going to come in here. We're going to grab tool, fairly big again. So we need to take a large part of this and again as we get things in place we'll go back and we will freeze some of it so that we don't 
distort it while we're trying to fix other parts. Up to the edge of there. And the whirlwind is in the thorn tree. The virgins are all chosen therewith. The whirlwind is in the thorn tree. It's hard for me to kick against the bush. All right, let's zoom out here again. And that's where we're at. And we got a shadow on part of that other leg back here. And we're just going to go ahead and we are going to cut that off. But before we go any further, what I can do to accentuate this, because again, I want it to stretch over, but I don't want to have the exact anatomy of the animal. I'm going to add a mask to this. So to do that, what we're going to do is go to our rhino layer here. I'm going to turn off my zebra. I'm going to go to my rhino here. I'm going to go in here and grab a selection and I'm going to select select and mask and we're going to go and we're just going to say select subject because he's fairly gray and white and outstanding against this other background so he should come out pretty good and that is darn near a perfect selection for what we need here. Look right down here in the bottom looks like it's a little funny I'll clean that up real quick. Down here on the bottom by his feet. And other than that, we got a good mask. I'm happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and say we're going to output this to a selection. Actually, we're going to output this to a layer mask. And we're going to push OK. So now we got a mask on there. Turn that back on. And we're actually going to drag this mask up to this layer. So everything through there is going to come up like it is on the rhino, which helps us out greatly. All right, so again, we'll stop there. We will pick up and finish this off on Friday with a few effects. I'm going to keep going on this, and then we can finish this rhino zebra pattern rhinoceros up here on Friday. Everybody have a good day. Stay creative.